Good morning. It's John from Veganism Kills. It's Friday, June 5th. Okay, we're doing a little bit more research. Where else could we find out about oxalosis and hypooxaluria? From the Oxalosis and Hypooxaluria Foundation. Okay, what are we going to learn from this foundation? Whose only expertise is oxalosis and hypooxaluria. Let's see if we can find out what causes these two diseases. Learn. Okay. Most of you can read hypooxaluria. Oxalate is an end product of metabolism. High levels of oxalate are toxic because oxalate cannot be broken down by the human body and accumulates in kidneys, causing kidney stones. Very easy to understand. Vegan diet, the most heavily oxalate diet, including oxalate diet in the world. Okay. Individuals with decreased kidney function may experience oxalosis, which involves a buildup of oxalate and other organs such as bone, skin, heart, retina, and possibly causing other delicate complications. It's so over here, exit oxalate accumulates in the kidneys, causing irreparable damage and untimely leading to kidney failure. Is that simple enough for you to understand? Keep eating the oxalates, get the kidney stones, my box loria. don't listen, kidney failure. Since oxalate can no longer be excreted through the kidneys, it deposits in multiple vital organs, including the eyes, bones, skin, and heart. You're saying that our vegans don't get heart problems? You're lying. Now, when it deposits in the eyes, this is a, a, a good fact, I understand. You're going to get a dark ring, rings around your eye. This is why this vegan deterioration takes your before vegan and after vegan pictures because she knows when you get the signs of hypoxaluria, the toxins are going to concentrate around the eyes. That's what causes the dark circles. Right? You'll also notice this on um, patients like I have that are on dialysis. They'll have puffy jowls and they'll have dark rings that go to dialysis. The puffy ring or puffiness around the eyes. The dark circles go away and the puffiness of the jowls go away. What causes these th conditions? Okay. <laughs> From primary hypoxaluria, you'll learn that the liver has to cope with eat too much oxalates, okay? Most of these vegans are gonna get enteric hypoxaluria. And known as secondary PH2 is caused by body absorbing too much oxalate from the food people eat. So you're over there chowing down and you're drinking your cup of soy milk, you know, or you had your spinach smoothie and you and, and had about 3,000 with four dates in it and a couple soy poured in there, soy milk, that's around 3,000 milligrams of oxalate. Doing that every day, it's going to, it's going to give you, there's no ifs, ands, and all. You're going to get hypoxaluria if you keep eating all these oxalates. Your body can't push them out. You're causing stress on your kidneys, but also your liver. Your liver reduces the protein enzyme that's used to break down the oxalates. What's going to end up happening is, Oxalosis is typically caused by kidney failure due to hypooxaluria. You see how this leads into it? You follow the steps, the high oxalate diet, the, the signs of hypooxaluria, and if you keep it up, if you don't stop, that's where you're going. What are the symptoms? These are the symptoms that they're pointing out on vegan deterioration. They're showing you that you can actually see the symptoms of hypooxaluria in the faces of vegans, you can notice the change, okay? It, here goes uh, symptoms of a kidney stone, but pale skin color related to anemia, feeling generally ill or tired or having heavy fatigue, okay? 
She's looking for the dark circles around your eyes that show that the efficiency of your kidneys has gone down, causing the oxalates to accumulate around the eyes, going to the bones. You see, she could, you could see it in people's faces when it accumulates around the eyes, the toxins. Okay? Because it causes a dark area. And then you can also notice the pale skin color related to anemia. That's all brought on to you by Hypoxaluria. So telling people that they shouldn't be comparing your pictures, when those when they're comparing those pictures to serve as a warning to you, not smart at all. A lot of you vegans claim to be so highly educated. I, I don't see it. Sorry, I don't see it. Again, we're showing you, we gave you the list. We showed you the, the, the way, how you, on my previous video, we showed you where your oxalates are coming from. And here we're showing you the results of all that oxalate consumption. This is what's causing your sickness. This is what's causing 90% of the vegans to drop out. There are more angry ex-vegans out there than there are vegans. And it's always going to be that way. And the more the, 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 uh, the more time that's allotted for these people to subsist on the vegan diet, the more ex-vegans are going to be created so there's basically going to be no vegans left. Either you're going to be dead, or you're going to smarten up and get off the vegan diet and eat a balanced diet. You can't exist on plants. They're too toxic. Plants, by design, Reduce these toxins to prevent people from eating or any other animal from eating. Other uh, other animals have a, a quadruple stomach system just to deal with these oxalates. They regurgitate them. They rechew their food. They sit there all day chewing the same mouthful of food just to process it so it doesn't poison them. Humans can't chew their gut. So there you go. I don't know what else to tell you, vegans. But wise up. Stop listening to Dr. Gregor. He's going against already applied sciences that have been proven in fact. Okay? He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's in it for the money. I'm out. You guys have a good day.